Have you heard about the news lately? There's something new from Windows. And drum roll. It's the new Windows 11 launch. And it sort of went like this. So it took Microsoft just six years to launch their new operating system. And, and it's just got announced, it got leaked as well. You can probably find the installer. As you know, Apple and Microsoft are notorious with their launches. There is cringe warfing moments. We put start at the center. It puts you at the center. All those different wishy-washy waffles about, you know, purpose and things of that nature. You're literally just developing a tool and ecosystem. And the ecosystem is the rightful thing here, which I'm going to highlight across the video. Now to preface and to avoid biases, this is you. This is my Mac machine. This is my Windows machine. So as you can see, I use two different machines. Mac is my daily driver. Windows is for very serious stuff like blockchain, engineering and things of that nature. But this is where I was really excited to see if I could take that heavy side, that hardcore professional work and improve the user experience on that. And I think Windows 11 is taking there slowly. One thing to notice immediately, just from the announcement itself, we tried to round the corners everywhere. That glossy glass type of translucent look and feel. The key change, which is very similar to the actual Mac OS, is that central dock, which is almost like a direct copy. Of course, you can customize it and push it to the left. But ultimately, they figured that that's probably where the people's attention is most of the time. And they're almost deviating from that standard Windows left alignment. And the teams are now going to be fully integrated in the launch pad so that you can actually open the app just with one bit. They're just priming you to use Teams more and adopt the Teams more. I guess it's driven by the professional world need there is different a launch pad type of approach where you're gonna have your pinned apps recommended documents trying to ultimately tie it in and make it much more simpler just like what Mac is doing what I like about that recommendation and search engine itself, or, or at least what we demoed, is that it's gonna tie in all the different tools. You know, Microsoft is great. The only actually thing why Teams is great is because it allows you to quickly integrate to your emails, to your file sharing, like OneDrive. It, it has the very, very, probably the strongest ecosystem in the world. But what it doesn't have yet, which I hope Windows 11 is gonna address, is tying it in in a user-friendly way so you can easily look into it and almost like connect those services into one holistic service as users need not as the business needs or wants to represent it for the users forcing them into using products the certain way which is not natural to the users themes hey well exciting thing what we call snap layouts is super exciting it's not anything groundbreaking but it also is, is the simplicity of it. Because what it allows you to do is it gives you the grids to adjust your open windows automatically and snap them in place, depending on the size of the screen. You can then easily pick the layout that suits you and, and you know, just click it through and it opens up and you can multitask at once. This is massive change for me, at least. I work with big screens. I love doing that, especially in the design work. I can just imagine opening Miro on one side, the, you know, there's some sort of requirements documents on another side the insights or maybe user research capture on the other side and then working from one window to the other instead of having to adjust and having multiple floating windows what i enjoyed a lot and what kind of like took me aback was these workspaces so we add the desktops but you can actually customize the desktops and theme it for work design chill gaming and just swap from one to the other as you need to now other big bits adding android apps as well so that developers are now able to port the android app I mean, the key reason is because Microsoft Store has been a wasteland for quite some time, for years now. It's almost like embarrassing. You go to that store and it looks like, you know, there is no quality measures. You can almost publish any crappy app and there is no consistency and it's it just a horror show. So opening it up for Android developers is going to allow to add more quality apps, which is in return gonna make the actual ecosystem of Windows much more complete. So the previous leaks were all about Windows 10X, which was supposed to be tablet first. In reality, it was almost like a 
predecessor to this Windows 11 because you can have the same ecosystem working through your tablet and Windows and it all scales because a lot of machines in Windows ecosystem are based on the flexibility of becoming tablets or like full on laptops or, or desktop machines. In fact, I was looking at this power and simplicity document on my phone this morning. And now with just one tap, I'm right back into it. And so this is another hit of what Windows is trying to achieve, which is great to see. Almost hinting at what Mac has with iMessage and iCloud capabilities, you know, creating that quote unquote ecosystem, which makes Mac user experience so superior if you have a phone, if you have a laptop. Now that widgets thing is pretty interesting launcher if you ask me, because it allows you to get that auto-generated AI driven content and it's supposed to be tailored for you based on your other apps and integrations. And I think, you know, just the actual look and feel updates always makes the tool much more usable and much more engaging. That's what to me was missing. Having to work with both ecosystems at the same time, I know the differences and Windows always felt so clunky compared to Mac. And, you know, it's everything from the micro interactions to the motion itself to just apps which are very simple at that. But with Windows, it's never been that easy. It's almost like everything we're running in silos. I, I don't know if it's because it's no joint design leadership or flow or vision or kind of ways of working which would tie it all together. But look at the actual apps in Windows 11. You're going to see that there is still no consistency. Every Windows version introduced new patterns and new ways to do so. It's just almost like a notorious Windows thing which we are known for. So I wonder if the actual design organization needs to reflect back, if it's a battle which is going to take them decades or perhaps it, they need to just almost like pivot how they approach the user experience. The Windows of the OS which should allow them apps to slot in as long as they're going to enforce similar measures of what Apple is enforcing on those app creators and developers because that's the only way you can actually make the cohesive holistic product which you know allows you as a creator to be better at your job but also provides some capability to relax basically and ease into the actual ecosystem <laughs>